Dave. Right. So, <coughs> the Navi boys. Lo the Navi boys hovering around 80%. The knife round has happened already. And it will be Guardian and his bros on the, the CT side. We did see a tweet from Seize recently. I did retweet it, but of course it was all in a very foreign language indeed. <laughs> and But he was basically saying they were frustrated at their, at their loss to Titan. Probably the way they lost rather than the loss itself. And they said if they didn't make it through SRTV, then there were going to be some changes. <coughs> really? That's interesting. And obviously like to get so long. Anyway, here we go. We do have a, a, a slow start. Two really? players towards slope, one towards Palace. And two players on mid and B area, the mid and B area. If they can finish themselves around Connector, that's going to be really awesome here. It's going to help... Uh, help this push actually come into play uh, for the A side. But they're actually going to all fall back towards slope. So that's going to be a four-man push-up slope with one on Palace. But Na'Vi, some, for some reason, they've actually, they've actually fallen for this. And um, they've actually rotated a bunch of players towards B. They are so convinced that it's B right now. If Existence hit in this window, and they are actually going to be five on two for the uh, briefest moments here as they make the entry into the site. But it's just long enough that with some bodies able to swing around, gets a quick kill onto Guardian. There are, of course... Five players still alive for existence, and the bomb is now down. So this is looking really good for the Spaniards. Starx is going to come in from CT, but his teammates are rapidly falling around him. And he's now going to go down as well. And seized by Connector. Do very well to get himself any damage done at this point. The round is certainly not an expectation anymore for him as he goes down. And wow, Na'Vi really, really bit the bait there. So, this is a good start here <coughs> for Existence on the T side, the less favoured side. I've got one round on Na'Vi here, the first round. And again, the longer you can keep Guardian off that AWP, the better. You've seen what he can do with it on Mirage as well. Seen some crazy act, 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 actions from him. Jumping through CPL onto short. Saw Ken yesterday, do that yesterday as well. And I, I don't know if that's something he, he was doing already or if... Uh, that was just from Guardian's antics. But we're going to see this trade come in yeah, in the CT spawn area. Sorry, T spawn area. Kyrie down. Flippin surviving with 2 HP, but he has killed two of the CT boys. They have got complete control of the, a the bo B bomb site as well. So this round should be a formality. Got they're still going for it, though. And Guardian does have full armor along with that scout. So if he gets some tags onto players, this could still go either way. But for the time being. I think they are looking for Guardian opening here. Ooh. There's the first tag, so that's going to be two players now. 30 HP or less, which means they're pretty much one tap away, especially with a Deagle. I think I'd like them to all just hold on to these weapons, really, for the next round at this point, but... Oh, wow, that I said, they're going to get some kills, but the bomb is ticking away very quickly. There's no kit on anyone. Seize picks up the kill with the AK. Can they get out of there with the weapons? Oh, no, Seize. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, he makes it through. 24 health, he manages to save the AK. That was actually amazing. I mean, looking at that, I would never expect them to get the kills. Uh, I would imagine it's a much safer play on average. Probably is. Oh, well just to just fall back and just get the exits and just keep the weapons alive. But they just got themselves some rifles. Well, it's an, it's a, it's an interesting dynamic there. They have to hold a site, the T's. Na'Vi with a, with a scout just need Guardian to get an opening, not even a kill. He just needs them... But based on them having deagles and, and five sevens, he just they just need Guardian to tag players. Then then it's then it's easy picking, basically. So it's a somewhat profitable round there for Navi. This, uh, this looks quite good for existence as well. They actually did a good plan here by actually. Tr I, I, they didn't go in yet. They're going very slow, but I guess that's expected. And two players for who were in Palace are now kind of escape, exited Palace. In fact, one of them is now going back into Palace. So. Seems like a bit of indecision coming in here from Existence. They had a good opening, a good window, but three players from Na'Vi are now rotated. So even if they're getting the kills here, they're making it much more difficult for themselves than it necessarily had to be. Edward does come in from jungle, and we are going to see Na'Vi going down to one player, just seized. And here he goes. He's taken down as well, so... What do you make of that? Like, they, they, they just... They just sat there. <laughs> but we, we've seen them play Mirage recently before, and they spend a lot of time standing in a, on a slope, which is which I don't like for a few reasons. One of them being they can they can all almost all be naded at, at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. And and from a reasonable amount of safety over the sandwich area. 
this, 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 I think there's like a lot of reasons why it's bad, but you know, hold that thought. We do have some pistols pushing apartments here in Palace. Fliffin's actually got the angle though, so they have anticipated that this kind of play could come in. And this is a good choice by Navi to try to uh, 2 on one the guy in Palace, because if, even if the, if the guy's not there, you can see in this instance they're going to get 2 on one they're going to pick up the weapons, that's cool. But if the guy isn't there, isn't there, then they can just push on through to T1 and get those information or a flank. flank. So it's a, it's a nice play there from Navi, and they're going to be 3 on 3 now. There is a sneaky spot in the palace area while well, we just have a moment. If you're a T, if you can get here in time, you can stand in this corner, just facing the wall here, and use the little edge to see people walking past because almost nobody knows that is a ninja spot. Although it may not necessarily be recommended in a professional it match. You just ruined it. Thanks, James. What did I ruin? Now everyone's going to know about the ninja spot. All oh, right. Everyone's going to check there. One will go down there for existence. Not to be confused with existence. From Titan. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. And they were playing Titan. Yeah, that is rather confusing. No AK to be saved for Na'Vi. And here it is. It's the big pink gun. Guardian in using skins, shocker. Yeah, you know, all these top players have all these like fancy, nice looking knives now. The, the biggest comment on Guardian Smoke of on Mirage is actually the fact that he's using skins. <laughs> like, like the most upvoted comment. Starix with aggressive positions. We do see this a lot actually, Na'Vi. Aggressive A slopes uh, pushes on the, on, the, on the CT side. <coughs> <coughs> That's the information play they like to do. You can bounce some really nice Pop flashes off that angle oh, as nice. well. That was a tidy grenade. Big chunk of damage done to existence. You can see the slow play style that we were talking about coming into play right now from them. There's already 45 seconds that have been played out in this round and they haven't really gained any map control just yet. Edward in a good position there by crossover. If he just stays put, that's going to be amazing. Got to make sure he doesn't push too early, but he will actually pick up a frag just as Flippin well. pulls out a grenade. And that's when Guardian goes for the peek as well. So huge play right there from from them, and, and they're going to be able to make a nice rotation. Now Zeus coming in, Edward coming in, they are surrounding them. But there is a slight window of opportunity here to get onto the speed bomb site. So they have made the openings and pulled the players away from the site. Retrieved the bomb as well, so it's all going to be on Usain Barney and Drift King now. They're looking for more engagement for, before they even try and plant the bomb. He's going to get one, but it's given the CTs enough time to rotate. However, Guardian is going to be the last one standing. One versus one here. He's got no time. This is, this is so good for Guardian. He's going to get the shot. Well done to him. Existence once again being, uh, being punished for having too little time. Because if, if, if he had the time there, he could maybe juke out Guardian a little bit. It is Guardian, but it was poss it's possible. Yeah, I mean they need to. They need to. Pl well, they have. There are two things. They need to plant the bomb to put the pressure on the CTs and to, well, yeah, well, basically put pressure on the CTs, both time and otherwise. But they want to have their guns available, so they don't want to be in a situation where one person's planting and there's only one person able to defend against three CTs. Next However, second. it's double jeopardy because the fact that sorry, catch twenty two rather. The fact that they don't plant the bomb to have two guns available makes it more likely that they're going to end up engaging more CTs anyway because they're giving them more time to rotate by not planting the bomb. And Yeah, I mean, Connector is still open right now. It's been open the entire round. Navi just uh, feeling fairly free to give it up, and Zeus is, is very lightly controlling Connector and CPLs just all by himself. There is, of course, potential for Guardian to shoot towards Connector from CT spawn, but... As we see this push come back towards the A site right now, they, they could easily have left a guy in connector, but, but they decided not to. This is something that we've seen from them quite a lot, especially on Mirage. They go up here and maybe through apps as well, and then just all come back and go towards A. Again, we'll have to see if Guardian is on point with this, uh, this AWP. He's got the angle towards slope, so they're going to have to push through that. They do smoke him off, so that's the first job done. And they go now as uh, Guardian finally does actually... Uh, there was no smoke there, in fact. There's just a close smoke. So he has freedom to move up through the toll booth. And he is going to get so many kills there. 
Good stuff from Garni. Already with three players down. Zabon tries to get planted and he gets the fourth one. Wow. Guardian able to just walk up and kill all of the lineup of existence there because their smoke was was uh, on the, for the site but not for CT. Yeah, they, this is quite common actually that they do this. They they throw smoke here instead of CT and try and plant the bomb. However, but the problem is they need to plant the bomb in this area so it's exposed this way where this place is smoked. But the bomb plant was here and basically had no one covering him and it was just a free a free frag and a free round there for Navi. Yeah, existence are four. To two though they are two rounds up. Yeah, Navi really needs to stop that if they want to have a, a proper proper half hit. So they are working on that now as the eco is come out coming out for existence, and that's uh, going to really indicate to us that the, the rounds have really, or rather the the match has kind of turned in the favour of Navi. They're getting the momentum in the in the money game, and they're getting the momentum uh, otherwise otherwise as well. Wow. It's like slurring. It's like I'm drunk. Yeah, welcome to my world. I do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> the beginning <laughs> of the card is harder <laughs> than any, any other part. Yeah. Just to talk. Indeed. Oh, Starix is going to peek out for the finish. They know they're super low. We have some Barney on four health. We have B being covered from short here with Edward. So it's going to be a slow death for Musa and Barney here. Ooh, has he been seen? No, it does not appear to be the case. Might just get the drop on Edward. He will indeed, he gets the weapon as well. So he gets the plant. This is actually becoming possible. Yeah, he needs to get an aggressive first frag here. Guardian may have seen him there. He knows that there is a player from the other side. Simpani goes to the 1-1, one -one. he is going to get taken down, but it was good effort though, he does actually get the bomb down and an extra kill, so that is really, really cool. And they actually managed to kill three people, Yeah, which Almost is quite four. impressive considering, but they need to win rounds, they need to, w they need to win more rounds, they are around ahead, Kyrie picking up that AWP, looks like he's going towards the A bomb site. And again, I think one thing that people uh, should be paying attention to on the minimap is how both these teams on the CT side control this area, because that is going to make all the difference. You can see, I mean, on this particular round, you can see we have an aggressive presence here in mid from Na'Vi. They know the style that Existence play, and it's looking to punish them for it. Two players towards uh, the A side of the map. This usually should, well, one is actually cycling back from Palace, so... I mean, if you have the one guy in Palace and one guy in Slope, you can get that three per push through connector that can be really strong for a site attack on A. But um, that could just be that it's turned into that, uh, who is it? It's Kyrie, who is orping actually from the Slope. Could just be that Kyrie is going to be trying to provide distraction there, maybe get a pick to slow the rotation. But Navi, they, they already know what's going on here, it would seem, as they go fall back into uh, better positions. Giving up middle a little bit because they know it's not under contention. However, they are a bit scared of Kyrie here and he's going to get re smoked. Existence still using all the time that they have allotted to them to try to remain obscure in the eyes of the CTs. This is a sneaky position that people might not be aware of, but we can see that Edward is just standing on here. You, can, you, don't, you don't need a boost to stand in this position. You can just go into the corner of the uh, wood and you'll just pop up and you have a little jump to get up there. Nice sneaky position. So, again, death by paper cuts here for existence, and they, again, they're just always they're always they have like a general idea of what they want to do, which is hold angles and hope that CTs pick them on the C sides of maps. But we just don't see we don't see drills from them. They're not they're not smoking mid, putting someone in connector and trying to push A and mid at the same time. Sorry, connector, or boosting people into CPL, or even really trying to take control of mid. They they have a lot less map control than you normally expect on the T side. And it makes life difficult for them. All right, so they push onto the A side. It's going to come out here for them, from them. Just a quick movement. Oh, that, that nip nade sent Kyrie down to 50 HP. Yeah, that nade is my f was one of my favorite actions for sure recently. And uh, easy picking here for Guardian as they can't even get up the slope. And generally speaking, this slope, you know, another reason why uh, it's, it's not smart to really get stuck there voluntarily is just because you're giving up position on the site when you could get just be moving forward, getting position on the site, getting
getting position on the choke points that stop the CTs retaking the site. And instead, you allow them to have superior angles on you because the, t the, c the CTs have a be better angle, better range of angles to deal with that area. So you're just like deciding to just sit in a disadvantage. But hopefully, we won't, we won't see too much of that from Existence in the future rounds. But now we have Navi coming back into the game. Existence with a buy now. So Curry could still throw a wrench into the works here for Navi. He's been very, very good yesterday. In fact, Curry, Curry I think, would have been the MVP for yesterday from Existence. And that has not gone the way they intended. It is actually very difficult to consistently smoke CPL on T-Spawn. A few different ways to do it. Some bounce it off that pillar at the bottom. Connector has been smoked and finally they have a presence in mid. In fact, they've taken control of it. But Navi looking to contest it. Guardian is just having a field day right now. There is a gap in the smoke as well, so he's going to find a frag. Look at the confidence from Navi, just got to run out short. And again, you can see how important it is to hold to control connector. And you really have to be careful when, you, when it's smoked as well, because as you saw, any little gap gives the CTs a huge advantage, be it on the side, be it looking over the top of the smoke as well, as, you try, as you're trying to push short. But it is very, very important to control. And no trade frags for existence, as they're basically running around on their own at the moment. Buddy system is not in play right now. So if Flippin gets a bomb plant here at least, they may be able to buy in the next round a bit better, but actually it should be good anyway. But again, they need to they need to change things they need to change things up here. Yeah, it's uh definitely definitely a little bit slow here. I think I would I would like to see a faster take on connector just to see what would happen. I mean, throw f three players at it, three to four players at it, just like go really fast. So this could be this could be really interesting against Navi, especially if they put the the right nades there. Just because also it would be such a drastic change on their pace that Navi might not be reading the timing very well of a movement like that. And that's that's kind of the strength of it. That's the strength of any rush is to beat them on the timing, beat them before they have information on what you're doing. And it's a good uh, They're good properly, CT now. properly smoking CT this time. Yeah. Learn their lesson at least. But it's going to be Starix in that position, and Guardian is in fact currently unsmoked. Okay, no, now the smokes have come in. Let's have a look and see what is going down. Guardian just checking connector. But despite all these smokes, the, the push is still coming in slowly. You can see Navi trying to contest it as well. Edward standing in the middle of the site right now. Loses the jewel, however. Bomb is down, and only Kyrie remains. Yeah, Kyrie is going to get taken out as well, so. This is what we saw yesterday too. Existence, they struggled the mo by far the most. Like, by far the most on the T side. That's where Dak come, like, just crushed them. Yeah. They just crushed them. And uh, we can see that you know, there were some similar issues uh, here today for them. They did get the early rounds, so that's nice. But the black, black, black for Starix is in play. The auto sniper, excellent in this position. He's not going to find any, any action just yet, though, as this push is going to come in onto the B site. And. I think they're Navi are more than ready for this. Nades though, are they good? Not quite. It's going to be a shooting range for Edward, picking off player after player after player until Steve finally finishes off the last one. And there you go. You got your eco cleaned up as we hit eight to four, and big money here for Existence to throw in a nice round. But do you think they got it? They got the chops, James. Do you think they got what it takes to bring about another round right now? I. That eco round, they, they could have just walked through B apps until they had contact with a player and then tried to rush. They would have been a lot closer and it would have been a lot less audially telegraphed. The Navi players heard them running from a mile away. And when, when you run all the way from the site like that, then that allows the other team to just throw a Molotov and clear you out. However, things were going their way and continue to. Two versus two. Frags has been coming in all over the map. And that, that's a much better smoke for connector. But look at where the bomb is. Just when you want a good connector smoke. Your bomb's on the other side. This is going to be difficult now. I have to identify where both these plays are. They have an idea of where one is. But where is the other one? Okay, there's Edward down. Although he should tell his teammate that Drift King has been tagged quite a bit. Just going to waste time on a Molotov the bomb there. It's an interesting situation. Yeah, Drift King is actually only on 12 HP, so see, he just has to get a nice engagement here. Just a quick, quick one kill. He's got the bomb 
Right there, and there it is, the headshot onto Kyrie. And now Drift King is completely screwed here. They, they peaked Connector with no ability for a trade. Why? I don't understand why they peaked it with one person. Yeah. And why the person with 12 HP wasn't the person who's peaking first, with the second guy going for the trade frag. Yep, it's, it's definitely a little bit confusing, but maybe there's still hope here for Drift, Drift King. He's going to be able to get that bomb down at the least. Let's see, this comes in from CT spawn. Still hasn't heard where he is just yet. He's got a good idea. He's got a position for it. There you go. Instant headshot. Great work there from Drift, Drift King to save that one. Picks himself up the AWP, and uh, he can throw that to some Barney or Kyrie. And uh, Kyrie is going to have to be the one that picks it up. Or maybe not, actually. Oh, no, okay. I think you must have it. All right. So, 8 to 5 is actually a good scoreline here for Existence. Two more Ooh, look rounds at the guns. in this. Look at the guns. Guardian, Orb, Seized, Orb, Starrix, Auto Sniper. They might as well spend the money. They've got nothing else, not, nothing else to do with it. And be beginning of the last round, Guardian had a full buy-in, 16,000 in the bank. Let the games begin. So he's going to kick it off pretty well there for Na'Vi with the opening kill from onto Kyrie, which really sucks because the whole point of Kyrie there was to get that kill himself and open them up onto the site. Now, Seize pretty much knows what they're doing. They got, they've got two players in middle already. So they've, they've, worked, they've basically worked this out. They've got one guard in CT just in case someone's sneaking around pallets, but the rest of the Na'Vi team are set up to hurt any escape options here for Existence or just crush them if they come in. So Existence at the mercy of Na'Vi now. Complete mercy of them. Yeah, note how the Navi team are holding mids. They're not being challenged there. You can see what a problem, what problem that causes for the T side. So he's going to get caught on the flank. One man advantage for the CT. Still well and truly in control of this bomb. As they, get, as they get cut down one by one by one. So flipping versus two orps and also sniper and an M4. And he's bound to get shot by one of them. If you, if you look at the, the hold that Navi are being allowed to have. They've got Zeus watching the underpass to cover Guardian while he just stands top mids, like John Rambo, who just covers the angle there, which eliminates pretty much any option of going here, any option of going there, and the underpass option as well, and here. So, so basically, if Existence essentially funnel themselves. They either try and barrel, th barrel through the apps, and you can see when this angle is being held with an op, it's really hard with a wireless mouse, but when that angle is being held with an op, that tiny crack, you can see he had like a two pixel gap. Even if you try, if you're up the stairs trying to see if anybody's here, you can get shot from there. If you're just walking past, you're gonna get shot as well. You can see someone tried to jump past and got legs. And when they have that op there, then all they need to really worry about is these two parts here. And you can see the, how the CT holds in this area have been working for Navi and how Existence have essentially failed to um, shut it out. Previously, they weren't even smoking it. They had a smoke here, but they planted a bomb. They still planted a bomb in an area that was exposed to CT. So not a lot is working out for them right now. That said, they still have five rounds on the board. But again, there's I, th I think there's a lot of things to to work on. And when you're when you're doing a B rush, like an eco rush towards the B apps, you need to stop running about here because once you get to about here, if anyone's standing in the short area around here or around here, they're going to hear you running. Then you can have a player just standing here with a Molotov to bounce it off the wall and hit you there. And if you have two people on site, then someone else can throw a flashbang in, probably before the Molotov. So the flash comes in, the Molotov comes in, you're all blinded running into each other and you basically just get burned alive. I like that. Getting burned alive. It's not a nice way to go, James. It's not a nice way to go, indeed. <laughs> <coughs> so I think, I think these are issues, just like on cash, where you see the mid area is contested, you can see why it's so contested on cash. And that's the same thing here. They're just giving it up for free. In the beginning of this half, they were just holding these passive angles that you, s that you see them hold here. They do the same against Virtus Pro as well when, yeah. on t -side, when they're on T-side of Mirage. It's like there are a lot of teams that aren't confident because when you take mid, there's lots of small decisions that each individual player has to make. And you've got to also support yourself. Uh, whenever you're peaking, let's say connector or something, you can you can't do it without having someone next to you to trade immediately if if you are to die. And you have only the like it's so exposed from so many different positions, from short, from connector, from CPL, that you need to have like operate under the cover of smokes, which means that you have a time lim limit to actually take middle for the purposes that you want to take middle, whether it's to actually get like pressure into short. Because for example, you can. Um, 
you can take middle, you can smoke off connector and and, uh, and CPL, and you can try to like flash teammates into the ladder room slash push the CTs back from the short area generally into the site. You don't have to commit into the site, but that's just a play to at least remove the player from the angle or make it so dangerous that if then the smokes are, uh, have dissipated, now you can only have to fo fo you only have to focus your attention mostly on the CPL slash connector. So you can. You can play with it in different ways, but but I think a lot of people they get a bit caught up in just saying, okay, let's smoke middle, and then let's just like we just we just go we just go somewhere, and then if, if that doesn't happen because you get blocked because you don't effectively push someone back from connector or short or TPL, then then all the smokes go away and you still have the same problem, and then people start dying, and then no, no one knows where to go. For example, that's a very common thing in matchmaking because it's like a lack of proactive play, people are too scared to uh, to take risks to take more map control. But that's what middle gives you, gives you the opportunity to do that. One thing we saw with Kaboom versus Cloud9 when Cla when Kaboom were on the T side is they would smoke off mid here. Well, firstly, they would they would get presence in Palace. This is just one example that Existence could at least try. They could say, let's, let's say Kyrie has an AWP and they put Kyrie in this area. Then they smoke off a player. They smoke off a player in CPL. Then he, normally the CT player is either going to go through the small hole here and rotate round to CT or he's going to come into jungle and have a look over here. If the CTs, if the T is already in position, which is basically what happened to Shazam, Shazam was smoked off in mid, so he was like, okay, I'm gonna come out here, and he just got instantly got orbed by Kaboom. And that, that obviously put uh, the CT side at a massive disadvantage. And again, something LD, the old LDLC lineup once did on Mirage was they smoked off, they smoked off CPL. I mean, these are all variations in terms of trying to say, okay, they smoked off CPL. Then once that was out of the, out of the way, from this corner, you can throw a smoke over the arch here, which lands, sorry, you can throw it over the arch here, which lands into this area, which means that this is completely cut off, the, jung the jungle area. They can take control of connector, then come into A here, here, and here, which at the moment, you saw they're just doing the smokes that every man, woman, and child knows, where there's a smoke here, there's a smoke here, there's a smoke here, and then they sp and then in that situation they still spent too much time here where they needed to spread out and take better superior angles on the map on on the bomb site. Sorry. So I mean these are all variations that they can execute. I think we're going to have a bit of a you can see they're having a bit of a technical issue there, guys. So <coughs> we're going to go for a quick break while you wait for them to resolve their issues, and then we will be back with the remainder of the match. So hold tight, and we will see you in a few minutes. Hey, for jumping into the second half where Existence now get their shot at a CT side of Mirage. However, we've got loads of nades for them. So far, nothing has happened. We do have Na'Vi splitting up across the entire map. They've, thrown, they've even thrown some decoys. And they've got a really good potential chance to go for this three-man push on connector for the split into A. So that's what, I, that's what it looks like. But Existence have actually pretty sick positions if, that, if that's what's going to happen here. And Barney may be forced to retreat after getting dinked. Got to love that aim punch. And again, we can see a lack of connector control. And this is why I said look at the difference in the two halves because existence are really bad at this and there is a perfect example of the pincer movement. Could work either way though. A one man advantage, but people so low in health. That could have gone either way. Goes their way on this occasion, but if they are that slack with connector, on buy rounds, I mean, you can take that with a pinch of salt because it's a pistol. But uh, yeah, I if, they're, if they're like that, if there's if they're like that on the buy round, then this match is gonna, this game is going to be over very fast. Yeah, I, f I felt like their positioning was okay because they at least had like a a vertical. Well, well, I'd have to use the map and draw, but they, they have some good positions to deal with the push through there at least. But at this point in time, do you expect anything of this T T, half, T round? Because I do. There's five tech nines. Five tech nines, that's that's dangerous. That's scary. They even have got like two smokes and two flashes. So they could actually get some uh, little plays into some positions here to deal some damage. <coughs> but the strength of the tech nines is you know being on the move. Yeah, but what is the strength, Dan, of double P ninety? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want to know. Hey man, but the running tech nines, I don't I don't I'm pretty sure they're gonna be superior. We're going to see them moving up middle at the moment, and they are looking perhaps for that to split onto the B site here, and that could be quite potent if they're fast about it. Musum Barney is going to be the key player here to survive to get the damage done. Here it is. Going to be moving in slightly. Musum Barney falling back to a more comfortable position at the top of the ladder. And they go, though, for the trades, and a little bit too slow, but there it is. Zeus does pick up the frag onto Musum Barney as we, uh, Navi now 
are just going to roll their way in. And just look, look at the power of the running gun from the Tech 9s. It's very, very effective. Now C's working back with the Famas that he just picked up. As Lowell is trying to do something from Kitchen, but he's alone now. And there's four players left. That's one. A couple there are weak. Lowell gets the second player, but he's got 12 health left. That's the third one. Great stuff there from Lowell. Oh, he does get a tag onto the C's, but C's will get the frag. Good effort from Lowell, though. It's going to really force a lot of money b away from Na'Vi as they have to rebuy all the armors and all the guns. Well, it's going to mean less to Na'Vi than it was to existence, as they did win the round prior to that. And again, you can see the value of simple trade kills there. Trade kills that were missing quite a lot on the existence T side. So it's going to be existence now on the eco. Mid has been abandoned as they are going to concentrate their efforts on both sites. Bomb heading towards A, sorry, B at the moment. Drift King just holding that sneaky position. He's going to be, oh, he's got the CZ. How dirty of him. He's going to be hoping for some headshots, that's for sure. Zeus is going to be poking, probing, flipping with an aggressive frag on Starix in lower A. Zeus is going to get a bit of revenge. And there's a CZ, there's a bomb down. However, trade frag again from Na'Vi. Yeah, clear sight for them. Zeus is going to be able to start backstabbing too, so a little bit of a scary reality there. He's going to do a lot of damage to flipping and Lowell, so they're not going to be able to uh, finish him off soon. Or at least he should be. But if not, he's at least delaying them massively. And ooh, what does Zeus find just there? He picked up a grenade! Where is he going to launch this one? Greedy. Edward in the Mac 10. Mac 10, the best gun of all time. Don't, don't, don't take my word for that. It's like the worst gun of all time, Dan. But I love it so much. In in reality, though, spray is so bad. It's 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 also pretty bad in this game as well. <laughs> in real life and in I think it's a lot worse in real life. life. You what? I think it's a lot worse in real life than it is. Ah, uh, okay. Especially if you're firing it from like a a moving car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not that I've done that. I haven't. I'm just to take your word for it, James. Honestly, yeah, I'm. Yeah. Let's just do that. Into the drive bys. All right, 12 to 6. Navi are looking pretty good now. And uh, it's going to be a while till Moose and Bonnie's going to be picking up an AWP. We saw Kyrie oh, moving right now. doing an excellent job yesterday with the uh, AWP. Oh, Lowell's going to jump through this one, get himself a frag. So a lot, a lot more work to do there. And the problem is, is that that weapon is not retrievable. In fact, Guardian could even pick it up here. Kyrie very, very sneaky there, just trying to creep out the smoke a little bit. That is actually a really smart play. I think you may have had time to just aim for the head rather than spam the pistol like that. Mm. I think that was a kill to be had there. There's a bit of money left on the table. What wow. This? Two frags there from Flip and from Connector with the P2000. In he goes. Though so Guardian takes the last frag and good damage done by Existence. And uh, now they are going to be able to buy. And that's actually like quite significant, the amount of damage that they did, to be honest. But Kyrie, we saw yesterday, he, he was basically like basically repping Existence on the CT side all by himself. He was able to lock down so many rounds and bring them back in so many rounds with his orping skills that he's certainly going to play to watch here for Existence. But maybe Na'Vi will be able to shut him down. Maybe these grenades are going to allow a clear path through middle for Na'Vi or to give Guardian the edge he needs against this AWP, AWPer Kyrie. He's still there though, he's still looking for the shots and he does get a flick off, but it's not going to actually do anything. This is dangerous now for existence as Na'Vi approach middle. Zeus is far up to connector. Zeus is going in connector by himself. No support, this is very risky. No one there to trade on him. But look, he's going to get a free kill here if he looks... Oh, no, he's not. He's behind the bricks. Oh my goodness, how did they let him through like this? This is what I'm saying. This is so insane there. Zeus could have blown up the round. Drift King has to come out massive here. Where's one frag looking for more frags? He gets another one. That's the bomb down. And that is the info as well as Guardian is the only man left. And it will feel quite comfortable. The Guardian is a force to be reckoned with. 26 health. Orb still in hand. 40 seconds on the clock. They just have to make sure they don't peek him. That will be the worst thing to do against a Guardian holding an orb. And they will... Exp they will lay, uh, they'll express much discipline now by not peeking. All the, dis all the discipline. Yeah, but unfortunately not disciplined enough in that connected area. And again, this is what I pointed out, guys. The, com the, the difference between how Na'Vi hold connector and how Existence hold connector. They don't, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> 
difference is they don't. Well, we'll have to see if they learn from that because they have to. They had to be calling like, "Oh my God, what the hell? Where did that guy come from?" Because yeah, but it's happened already this week. That's the thing, and and they're still doing the same. You have to wonder if they're like if they're reviewing their demos or what are they doing. I think there are a lot of teams that don't review demos. I think a lot of teams lack a player that because the problem is it's not just like not reviewing demos. It's people being able to effectively draw conclusions from demos that are meaningful for a team. That's actually a, that's actually a skill. That's actually the skill set. Um, and some people there are the people that just generally don't like watching demos as well. But either way, I think we have got uh, Guardian looking for the pick there onto B apps. He might just be able to find it here. Looking for the peak there it is. Where is the spot? He wants to see like that head for a millisecond. We know Guardian's good for the quick trigger pull on the AWP. He's very fast. But it does look like he's going to get the ghost for now as Navi keep working on map control. And once again, Zeus might be able to get into connector by himself for free. <laughs> that was the last round. Edward taking control of short here. That's a good bit of pressure there. Gets the fragment to Musambani. Worth noting as well, connector is smoked, so he gets to run up to run up short for free with no punish. And because of the smoking connector and the pick on short, it forces the CTs to try and force the issue in CPL, which is going to give Navi another frag, which is what we were talking about yesterday with SK SKDC versus Denial. We talk about a lot of things, James. Yes, we do. Here we go. Let's talk about some more stuff. Flipping, getting one frag with the and the M4 there onto Starx over by Slope. That's look at the bunny hopping there. That was almost like a scene from a Quake movie. But we are going to see Navi picking up the round regardless. 14 to 7 as they're close. Oh, so close to closing out the rounds and bringing themselves to the first map victory in this best of three as we have Existence going for the Force by CZ, Scout, Famous, M4, Deagle. The best, saving the best for last there for you guys. And Guardian still up to his usual tricks. Where will he orb from this time? Looking like a very fast play here towards A. This could be very strong. They do have a man. It is flipping very close to the side. In fact, two. This is actually perfect setup. In they go, but oh, they're not going to get the frags. It's going to be all for seized. As he eats them up. And in they go. So much to be done by Kyrie now. And he's going to get smoked off. In previous situations, we've seen him be the man to save them. But this time, Guardian, the Angel of Death, coming in with the AWP, taking multiple players down now. And in goes Drift King. And uh, Don't see me like. Okay, match point for Navi. The inevitable is nigh. It is nigh. So once again, easy entry into middle here for Navi. Yeah, look how fast they take it with almost no resistance. Obviously it is a force buy and there's only a scout on on existence, but they 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 barely even try to take mid and look at the power it gives Navi. I like mid control plays from CTs sometimes. Um, the team that I think does this the best with the least risk is Fnatic. They have great setups to do that. And it is very powerful because, you know, taking mid away, top mid away, actually gives you a lot of information. You can do it somewhat safely. You can do it and actually, again, somewhat safely get picks even and then fall back into safer positions if you really want to. But, but yeah, it's just powerful. And just finding out that the 5.7 is pretty powerful too. Almost gets the kill onto Zeus. And it's Navi now on the bomb site. They got the bomb pretty much ready to be planted already. Lowell's going to get a kill onto Edward, but the grenade is going to force him to die. 3 on 3 now as Navi looking for some defensive shots as the CTs rotate and try to go for the retake of the bomb site. In comes the Drift King. He's going to be able to pick up one. But it's on flipping now. Trade frags all over the place. All on flipping now. He's got a 5 7. Urban has it. There it is. Does get taken down. And that's going to be 16 to 7 as a